Hey, what's up, everybody? I uh, recently switched to a uh, Android uh, TV build on my Odroid N2. Uh, this is Lineage 9.0, and it runs awesome. I can do pretty much anything I want to. Plus, I have access to Steam Link uh, on my PC, and it's great. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to show you guys the reset collection because that's the first reason I switched over. I finally, have a front end that uh, looks nice and allows you to add all the emulators. And let's check it out. I'm on my favorites here because these are my favorites. I don't want to go through every one of my ROM sets either, so that would take forever. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with some Gate of Thunder. Booga booga. Meet bonk. Gate of Thunder. All right, let's check this out. I'm probably going to die pretty quick, but I just wanted to make sure that everything's running smoothly. I'm using an and um, a uh, Xbox One S controller. It's wired because uh, this one isn't Bluetooth, but I have um, hooked up a Bluetooth one, and it hooked up with no problems. All right, so everything seems to be running smooth. And then I'm just gonna exit out. Let's uh try some Saturn. Now I haven't configured this this much, so let's go ahead and, s and see what options I have set up already. Don't need frame skip. Warbank cart's fine. Resolution mode. Let's, you know, let's try 1080p. This is probably going to crash, but uh, it's probably going to go slow as heck, but we'll find out. We'll exit out, go back in, and then we'll restart it, because otherwise it's not going to see those new settings. Hopefully we stay at a steady 60 frames per second. Looks like things are going to work nice. Oh yeah. Smooth as butter. Not my gameplay, but... My gameplay kind of sucks right now. Sorry guys. All right, let's try something else here. Want some Dreamcast? Let's do some Dreamcast. Let's do some high-end Dreamcast. There it goes. It took forever to load. That was a crazy one. Oh, it's a Naomi. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was Dreamcast. It's Naomi. That's why it took so long to load. Well, now we know Naomi games work.
quarter down. Okay, now we can go ahead and go a uh, regular Dreamcast game. I don't know why Redream was supposed to play on that, but let me fix that for you guys. This is what's great about this little um, front end, the reset collection. You can select the emulator, select the emulator and change the emulator it loads with. So we're going down to Sega Dreamcast, and we're going to load it up um, with Flycast on this one because... Certain games don't run on Redream. And there we go. This is why I like the reset collection. Did you see how easy it was to fix that? Once I get into the game, there we go. So now that's running a little bit slow, so let's see if we can get it running back in Redream, because this is just a regular game. This should run in Redream. Let's find out what's going on with Redream. If I don't get this working right... I have no idea why Redream did not work the first time, but I think we're fixed now. And we got solid frame rates again. Once again, reset collection. Awesome. And once again, I cannot figure out how to get through the menus on this stupid thing. Let's see if the frame rates are any better this time. Much, much better. Alright, let's go ahead and try something else. Try some N64. N64 runs really, really good on Android, and it runs really great on the N2. I'm running this at like 1400 by 900 or 920 or something like that. It's some insanely high resolution for a little single board computer to run it with. But, what's cool about it is, if you notice here, when I turn around the first uh, race here, the video screen is going to work. Most emulators it doesn't work on. Most of them is just a black screen. That's due to the accuracy of the plugin that they use. And it's also turned off by default on some of them for uh, speed reasons. Oops. Notice the video screen there. It's working! Yay! I think that's pretty damn cool. 
Alright, so you guys know what Mario Kart's like. We'll exit out of there. Here we go, we're gonna play Stormwind. Uh, Stormwind is a game that won't run on um, Redream because it's an independent game. But it's a really cool game. This is like the world's longest uh, seizure warning thing here. You'll notice why though in a second. This game has awesome music. It's really, really loud, though. Usually, uh, the sound effects are louder than the music. Uh, not the case in this one, and that's a good thing. But I always have to turn it down, usually, whenever I record it. Try some uh, 3DO here. 3DO, yep, it works. It works really well. Um, it works on like the Linux builds for the Odroid N2 as well, but it doesn't. It's not as smooth as this, as this is. This will probably be the last game I show you guys, and then I'll show you some of the Android TV features that I really enjoy. Hold on one second, guys. My son's coming in real quick. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm not going to edit this video. Uh, this is just a fun little video to show off my image. keep forgetting what button does what on this game but this is crash and burn and it's a pretty good game there's only a few games that I like on the 3do um, stuff like road rash and stuff but I can't really uh, film those because I always get uh, copyright claims on them so boo all right let's go ahead and exit out of here and I'm going to show you some of the Android uh, features, I mean the uh, Android TV features I like. This one right here is the most important one. This is Steam Link, and it lets me connect to my PC and play all my PC games. I don't know how well it's going to run now because I'm recording at the same time on the same PC, but we're about to find out. And per my son, we need to try... Cuphead. So we're going to pull it down here and we're going to die immediately in Cuphead because Cuphead is hard. At least it's hard for me. It's not hard for a lot of people. Some people are doing it like a speed run of like 12 uh, of 20 minutes or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, what's really cool about having this Steam link is if you notice, I added the, this. I don't have the Steam version of this, and I just added it as a shortcut. So that means that you can add emulators, so like Simu and the PS3 emulator and uh, um, the 3DS emulator, uh, the uh, yeah, Simu and whatever emu emulators, your 3DS, your Switch, all of them will work.
So here we are, streaming on a little Odroid N2, and it's beautiful. It's not like Moonlight where you have the problem if you have two monitors where everything flickers. This is just straight out, works out of the box, even does a test um, to see what your network is, your latency is on your network and if it's going to work. And then just press the uh, Xbox control, the little Xbox button on the Xbox controller. You exit it, and you can go back to your other games. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's get over there. I'm not going to show too many uh, Windows games off because this video would be way too long. All right, what else do I want to show you guys? Okay, here you go. Check this out. We got my Plex recommendations and my YouTube recommendations, my Hulu recommendations, and my Disney Plus uh, recommendations. Uh, those are there by default. You can also go into the app drawers up here and select what you want to run. Um, this is just my favorites. I just put everything in my favorites. So let's go into Disney Plus here. Look how fast that loads. It's faster than my smart TV loads. But it's pretty darn impressive. I'll go ahead and press play on this, but I can only let it sit for a few seconds because I'll get a copyright claim on. So just want to show you guys that it works. And it's working in high resolution. All right, one more time, exit out. And I think that's about it, guys. I've shown you everything you need to see. Um, I'm sure you guys all want to do the same to your Odroid N2 if you have one. Uh, I'm not going to share this image because there's really nothing to share because um, a lot of these applications are paid apps, so I can't really share those. If someone really wants me to, I could make an image with all the freeware and just RetroArch set up. If that's the case, let me know, and uh, I'll do it. Um, I'll also do it for the C4 as well. All right, guys, have a good one.